back to another set of Salty Banks fishing. It's currently 7.30 and we're heading south. We're shooting down to Bustleton for the, uh, for the night, got the camp trailer on the back. We're gonna go uh, hit the jetty. It's the longest jetty in the southern hemisphere, wooden jetty in the southern hemisphere. It's about 1.8 k's long. We're gonna go walk the jetty, we're gonna throw some squid jigs around. Hopefully get some of these monstrous bustle and squid that it's famous for. So uh, sit back, relax and enjoy. Price to get on the jetty? Yeah, so for a day pass on the jetty for an adult, it's $4. And that's from, that'll cover you the nine to five um, daytime pass. So you can go on the jetty on and off many times as you want for that $4. Kids between the ages of three and 17 are free. I'm assuming under the age of three or 17 anyway. Uh, under the age of three is free anyway, so. It's, it's listed as kids three to seventeen is free for the day. So yeah, it costs us eight bucks for the wife and I, and um, that'll last all day today. You can pay, I think it was fourteen dollars per adult for the train ride, um, and then they've also got the underwater observatory. I think it's about thirty-eight dollars for two adults and two kids. And it's a good experience. Lasts about an hour or so. It's time to change jigs. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> He's going to try the other squid jig. <laughs> Is that lunch? Exactly again what your wife said, huh? Don't you put it this way. Don't go in front of me, Mommy. <laughs> this could be the end of you. One squid at least. It's been tough work out here this morning. That water is real murky, making it real difficult to even spot the sort of weed beds that you want to be fishing on the edges. But um, yeah, I was, I was pretty persistent with the darker coloured jigs thinking they were going to work, but couldn't get anything. Changed to a, a white jig with a red head and first cast got a solid squid. Okay. Managed to bomb a good cast out with the Gamoku Ikasumi squid rod. They're um, fantastic for this little land based sort of stuff. So I cast a three and a half jig a mile and with the wind behind me it made it even easier. Punched out some deeper weed beds. I think it was the second jig or something. Connected up solid so it was good. Good result in the end. Got a nice squid. That'd be lunch. So we'll head back to camp now. Set up the camp trailer and uh, cook up a feed. If you're enjoying the content guys, smash that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.